Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, The Oil Press, where we talk about all things related to natural living. In this video, we're going to talk about gut health. We are going to learn why gut health is so important, how to know if you have a healthy gut, what you can do to support your gut, essential oils, natural supplements, and lifestyle changes you can make to support your gut. Let's get started. Gut health is extremely important to your overall health and well-being. The health of your digestive system can affect your body's vitamin and mineral absorbency, hormone regulation, digestion, vitamin production, immune response, ability to eliminate toxins, and mental health. Studies show that there is a huge connection between gut health and mood. Those who suffer with digestive imbalance are more likely to suffer from autoimmune disorders and occasional moodiness. So how do we know if we have good gut health? Number one, let's talk about poop and get the embarrassing stuff out of the way. You should have one to three bowel movements every single day. They should be a consistent shade of brown and not overly smelly. Number two, since we're on the topic of nastiness, let's talk about gas. You fluff less than 20 times a day, and like poop, it shouldn't be overly smelly. Believe it or not, toots are actually odorless. It's the bacteria that smells, and this means that you may have a bacterial imbalance. You have good smelling breath. If you wake up with really stinky breath, it could be a sign that your GI tract is tired. Number four, you don't have body odor. If you stink, it could be because the gut, not because the actual sweat coming out. Number five, you are not deficient in iron or B12. If you are low in iron or B12, it could be that you're lacking them in your diet, but it could also be that your digestive system isn't pulling them out of your food. Number six, you have a normal appetite. People who have good gut health usually don't overeat or undereat, and you digest your food easily. Number seven, you have no stomach upset like excessive gas, bloating, burning, or acid reflux. Number eight, you don't feel heaviness or lethargic after eating. If you do, it may be a sign that your gut is not working that well. Number nine, overall, you have good health. If your immune system works well, you have clear skin, good circulation, adequate energy to get up and get going in the morning, and you have good mental clarity throughout the day. So if we don't have good gut health, or if we just want to be proactive, what can we do? Number one, avoid the overuse of antibiotics. Antibiotics will completely disrupt the bacterial flora in your gut. You end up killing the bad bacteria, but you also kill the good bacteria. Good bacterial balance in the gut is very critical to good gut health. Number two, incorporate fermented foods into your diet like sauerkraut, yogurt, kimchi, kefir, tempeh, kombucha, and miso. All these foods contain a dose of probiotics. This makes it easy to incorporate probiotics into your diet, and I'll talk more about probiotics later. Number three, avoid sugar. This can promote the growth of bad bacteria and the growth of yeast. An overgrowth of yeast will disrupt the bacterial flora and prevent your gut from being able to function properly. Number four, lower your stress levels. Lowering your stress levels is good for every single aspect of your life. Your gut does more to send information to the brain about your emotional balance than any other system in your body. Lowering your stress levels and making sure that you have a nice relaxing day will ensure that your gut stays healthy. Laughter is an easy way to do this. When we laugh, we release endorphins and endorphins lower stress. You can also meditate, use essential oils and natural supplements like the ones I'm gonna to talk to you about in this video. You can exercise regularly. This helps to get the bowels moving and make sure that you're eating a healthy diet. Now let's talk more in depth on essential oils and gut health. First, for those who are new to essential oils, let me tell you what they are and how they work in the body. Essential oils are the volatile aromatic compounds that come from plants. 
They act as chemical messengers in the body like neurotransmitters and hormones. Using a high quality essential oil is extremely important because they have therapeutic benefits. Know that there are no labeling laws when it comes to essential oils, so any company can claim that they are 100% pure therapeutic grade essential oils. So trust the company you use. I use Young Living because of their purity, potency, and quality standards. Plus, they are as transparent as a company can get. All right, back to the gut. Essential oils are great for gut-related issues because they do not deplete the delicate balance of microflora. They do not alter the pH of the stomach like medications do. They work with the body to maintain balance, and they do not damage bowel flora that comes from the use of antibiotics. The first essential oil I want to talk about is peppermint vitality. Peppermint is probably one of the most popular essential oils used as a digestive aid. Peppermint can bring relief from stomach pain, gas, diarrhea, constipation, and it can help promote regular digestion as well. It is one of the better tasting essential oils, but be cautious if you're sensitive to getting acid reflux because peppermint relaxes muscles throughout your GI tract. When you swallow food, it goes down your esophagus, lands in your stomach in order to prevent acid from coming back up, giving you that burning feeling. You have something called a lower esophageal sphincter. This is a muscle that squeezes tight, and if peppermint over relaxes the sphincter, it can increase your risk for heartburn, so not for everyone. And a bonus is that when you take peppermint vitality as a dietary supplement, it can increase and improve exercise performance. And remember, exercise is good for getting your bowels moving. Next, let's talk about Digize Vitality. This essential oil was created specifically to support normal gut health. It is a blend of tarragon, ginger, peppermint, juniper, fennel, lemongrass, anise, and patchouli. This oil doesn't smell amazing, and a lot of people don't like the taste of it, but it works really well. Using this oil after you eat is a great way to end a meal, especially if you overeat. This will tell your brain that when I do this, I'm done eating, making it a great reminder of portions and moderations in your diet. Some other essential oils I want to talk about are cumin, thyme, oregano, fennel, and ginger. Cumin may help with abdominal pain, bloating, digestion, and urgency. The chemical constituents in thyme and oregano may help alleviate inflammation. In one animal study, the combination of these oils showed promising protective effects on intestinal health. Fennel, found in the Digize blend, dates back to ancient Egypt for digestive support. Fennel is a restorative essential oil for the gut. Studies reveal its benefits for decreasing abdominal pain, constipation, and diarrhea. Is also an effective laxative. Ginger is another essential oil found in the Digize blend. Ginger and ginger infused products such as teas, sodas, and candies are known remedies for nausea during pregnancy and other times. Additionally, ginger essential oil may help with gastrointestinal symptoms and also emptying of the bowels. Now you might be wondering, how do I use these essential oils? The answer to this question varies from person to person depending on your comfort, preference, and goals. But there are three ways that you can use them. One way to use essential oils for digestion is by applying them topically to your tummy. This allows the molecules to penetrate the skin and go straight to where it needs to work. Applying topically may relieve minor symptoms such as upset stomach, mild indigestion, or bloating. For babies and small children, use a small amount diluted with a carrier oil. Apply on his or her tummy or on the bottom of their feet. Taking oils internally may help you obtain quicker relief. Some studies recommend putting oils in enteric coated capsules. These capsules are designed to pass through the stomach unaffected and to dissolve in the intestinal tract. You can also add essential oils to juice, water, honey, or another beverage or food. If you choose to take essential oils internally, make sure you're using essential oils that are labeled specifically for internal use, like the Vitality Oils from Young Living. 
Also, if you pre-make your capsules, make sure you store them in the freezer so the oils don't eat at the capsule before you can use them. And finally, you can diffuse the oils. This method may be slightly less effective than topical or internal use, but you can add the oils to a diffuser and sit close by to inhale the aroma. All right, let's move on to supplements. But before we continue, I wanna to talk to you about Young Living supplements specifically because there's a huge difference between Young Living supplements and regular store-bought supplements. Young Living supplements have an 80% absorption rate compared to conventional supplements, which only have a 30% absorption rate. That's a 50% increase. This tells me we get way more bang for our buck and the supplements will be much more effective. The difference in the supplements is their bioavailability and their essential oil content. Gary Young was the first to formulate nutritional supplements with essential oils. Essential oils infused into a supplement make the nutrients and vitamins more bioavailable in the body. This means the body can absorb them and use them as nutrients. Are you wondering how it works? Essential oils help increase the absorption of the nutrients on a cellular level and they help remove waste from cells, which helps detoxify them in turn causing the cells to function at a higher level. So the bottom line is you should 100% be taking Young Living supplements over store-bought ones. Okay, let's start with digestive enzymes. Enzymes are important because they're responsible for every single chemical process in your body. If you want your body to work, you have to have enzymes. The immune system, circulatory system, liver, kidneys, spleen, pancreas, our ability to see, breathe, and think all depend on enzymes. They help with supplying energy, digesting food, purifying the blood, and ridding the body of waste products. They also help to create resistance to disease, improve hormones, sex, and speed up wound and bone healing. They increase mental clarity and attach iron to red blood cells. They may even help prevent or slow aging and build muscles. If you're looking to balance out any of your body's systems, you need to support your enzyme functions. Enzymes also drive vitamins and minerals into action. Digestive enzymes specifically help unlock nutrition from food. They help digest food and speed up digestion. They can also help you shed some weight. This doesn't mean that you go eat horrible food and it won't count. You still have to eat a healthy diet, but it will help you get rid of those pounds that you just cannot get rid of. Now you're probably wondering, if my body is already equipped with loads of dietary enzymes, why do I need a supplement with enzymes? And that's a good question. The answer is because diets, especially modern diets that are laden with toxins and processed foods, rapidly deplete your enzymes. Age also depletes enzymes. As we get older, we make less and our body gets rid of more enzymes. So this is a big part of a healthy aging regimen. Illness, exercise, and even hot and cold temperatures affect the way our enzymes work. So we must supplement with enzymes so that we make sure that we are giving our body what it needs to unlock nutrition from food. So let's talk about Young Living's enzyme supplements specifically. Young Living carries four digestive enzymes, Essentialzyme, Essentialzymes 4, Allerzyme, Detoxzyme, and Mitezyme. As you're reading the label, if you want to know if an ingredient is a dietary enzyme, look for the words that end in ASE. What comes before the ASE tells you what it's breaking down. For example, protease digests proteins, amylase digests non-fiber carbohydrates, lipase digests fats, and cellulase digests fibers. Essentialzyme and Essentialzyme 4 are animal-based dietary enzymes, and Detoxzyme and Allerzyme are vegan and kosher. Essentialzyme is a two-sided pill with an immediate and delayed dissolved site. It has a unique enzyme called pancreolipase, which breaks down some of the more complicated fats. It also contains something called betaine hydrochloride, which puts hydrochloric acid in your stomach before the food gets there to help your body more easily digest the food. It contains fiber and vitamin B, thyme, carrot powder, alfalfa sprout, cumin seeds, and alfalfa leaves. And the essential oils in essential zymes are peppermint, anise, 
fennel, and tarragon. Essential Zymes 4 is a delayed and immediate release pill, but it comes in two separate capsules. This enzyme supplement contains an enzyme called cellulase, which breaks down a fiber found in veggies that is hard to break down and causes a lot of gas. The essential oils in Essential Zymes 4 are anise, fennel, and tarragon. Allerzyme is one delayed release only pill. This enzyme supplement has the most enzymes and it's the only enzyme to include lactase. If you are sensitive to lactose, the sugar in milk, this is a great supplement for you. It also contains an enzyme that breaks down starches in beans and legumes. So it helps when you get an upset tummy after eating beans. It has the highest number of essential oils, including anise, fennel, peppermint, tarragon, patchouli, lemongrass, juniper, and ginger. Detoxzyme is one immediate release only pill. It has the fewest essential oils and the fewest herbs. So if you don't like ingesting a lot of oils, this may be a good choice for you. The essential oils in Detoxzyme are anise, fennel, and cumin. And finally, Mightyzyme. This is Young Living's enzyme supplement for kids. It digests protein, starches, and fibers. It's chewable and sweetened with apple juice and sugar alcohols. Calcium is the primary building block of this tablet. Therefore, it is 6% of the daily calcium for children under 4 and 5% of the daily calcium for children older than 4. Some other ways that we can get enzymes is by eating raw foods. All raw foods contain enzymes, but the most powerful enzyme-rich foods are sprouted foods, papaya, pineapple, mango, kiwi, grapes, avocados, raw honey, bee pollen, extra virgin olive oil, and coconut oil. Now that we have talked about enzymes, let's talk about the cleansing trio because one of the three supplements is essential zyme. The cleansing trio is the perfect way to begin improving your health through cleansing your system and eliminating waste. It contains herbs that are rich in vitamins, minerals, enzymes, amino acids, fiber, and essential oils. The cleansing trio will give you new energy and an improved sense of well-being. The cleansing trio includes essential zyme, comfort tone, and ICP. Essential zymes chew through all the junk. ICP makes bigger poops, and Comfort Tone pushes the poop out. I highly recommend the book, Inner Transformations Using Essential Oils, to help you with cleansing your body naturally. It's loaded with tons of useful information, and I'll put a link in the description below. Here's an excerpt from the book. A good colon cleanse is well balanced to support the kidneys and liver while you are cleansing. A lot of toxins are released while cleansing that upon entering the bloodstream or liver make you nauseous, headachy, weak, or sick. A well-balanced colon cleanse will have herbs in it to break up mucus, release the caked on lining from the bowels, absorb toxins so that they don't get into the bloodstream, stimulate peristaltic action, and add bulk to remove the intestinal contents through the system. We already talked about enzymes, so I'm going to skip essential zymes and move on to comfort tone. Comfort tone helps get bowels moving, and it helps to remove waste and gases, so you should not go out after taking this supplement. This supplement is designed for short-term use. It works by supporting normal peristalsis, which is the natural muscle movement of the gut. Issues with this product supporting peristalsis is that some of them make the stomach bleepy. This is why it's labeled to only be used for two weeks max. But Young Living designed this so that you may need a lot up front, but once you get the bowels moving, over time, you're going to need less and less to get the same effect. If you get diarrhea, back off. This means that you're using too much. It also contains fibers like psyllium, barberry, burdock root, fennel, ginger, and garlic. It contains herbs like apple pectins, licorice, and absorbitins like bentonite and diatomaceous earth, and contains rosemary, tarragon, peppermint, ginger, anise, mugwort, tangerine, and German chamomile essential oils. Now let's talk about ICP. ICP stands for I see poop. Just kidding. 
This is a powder supplement that bulks up and creates more poop and cleanses the colon with fibers. It contains soluble and insoluble fibers. The soluble fibers absorb water. This is what helps bulk up and create more poop. And the insoluble fibers go through and act like scrub brushes to help remove waste products. The fibers are from calcium, oat bran, flax seeds, fennel seeds, rice bran, yucca, cellulose. And it contains fennel, anise, tarragon, ginger, lemongrass, and rosemary essential oils. ICP also contains a dose of enzymes, lipase, protease, phytase, and peptidase. The next supplement I want to talk about is alkaline. Alkaline soothes occasional upset stomachs and ensures that you have the right pH in your stomach. pH balance is important because most diseases, illnesses, and bad bacteria thrive in an over acidic environment. Here are some things to know about pH balance. Consume high alkaline foods freely. Raw is best because most foods get more acidic when they are cooked. These include foods like spinach, broccoli, celery, carrots, cucumbers, asparagus, and Brussels sprouts. 7.365 is the optimal pH for human blood. It takes 20 parts of alkalinity to neutralize one part of acidity in the body. Some foods that you should consume sparingly or never include pastries, pickles, vinegar, artificial sweeteners, processed foods, microwave foods, cheese, and soda. Alkaline comes in a powder you can measure out and sachets for on the go. It's a blend of calcium salts, sodium salts, and potassium salts. It contains nine different biomedical mineral salts. These help your body to run chemical reactions in a wide variety of ways. Chemical reactions turn the food you eat into energy that can be used by our cells. Other series of reactions spend that energy by building cells, growing, and exercising. When you put alkaline in water, be cautious because it's super fizzy. Mix your first one over the sink. You'll want to put a small amount of water in a really big glass and then pour in the alkaline. Take it in the evening because getting it in the evening can help your body process it more effectively overnight. Up next is Remagen. Remagen is a tincture. Tinctures are a concentrated liquid herbal extract. The good thing about tinctures is that they last a really long time, but the bad thing is that they taste very strong. This is a very black supplement too, so don't be alarmed if your poop is really dark. It's recommended that you take three half dropper fulls three times a day. Put it in water in a little shot glass. I don't recommend putting it in a big glass to drink it because it doesn't taste great. So a little shot glass and get it done. It contains red clover, poke root, prickly ash bark, and burdock root. All these are known for their cleansing and building properties in the gut. The essential oils in this tincture enhance digestion. They include tea tree, thyme, rosemary, and Roman chamomile. Do not use for an extended period because just like comfort tone, we don't want the gut to get lazy. The last supplement I want to talk about is Life 9. Life9 is Young Living's probiotic supplement. It has 17 billion live bacterial cultures from nine different bacterial strains, and it benefits the upper and lower portions of the gut. It is important to take a probiotic because it promotes healthy digestion, it supports gut health, it supports a healthy immune system, and it helps to optimize and maintain normal intestinal function. We have billions of bacteria in our gut. You have more bacteria in your body than you do human cells. Our body is basically all bacteria. We have billions of different bacteria from thousands of different strains. The purpose of these bacteria is to aid in the digestion of food by helping to break down the middle and release absorbable nutrients into the GI tract so that you can absorb all of the nutrition. Even though you have a billion bacteria in your gut, you need more because of the same reasons enzymes are depleted. Modern toxins, processed foods, stress, antibiotics. This is why it's important that we replenish on a regular basis. Take this supplement at night and separate it from all other supplements as much as possible. 
All right, that is it. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.